Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco Eagle HT 35 MBOK. This is a great family floor plan. If you're looking for something that has some bunks, but you still want that rear living feel, then this is one you definitely want to take a look at. You'll see you have dual opposing slides here, really opening this space up, giving you a great living area back here for friends and family. And as you'll see in a little bit, we also have a mid bunk room. That way you have a place where the kids can sleep. Let's start off right over here on the door side slide. If we take a look at the slide out itself, you will notice the solid hardwood maple slide out fascia, absolutely gorgeous and well designed. Right underneath that, you have your entertainment center featuring a 39 inch Furion TV. Below that, you have the Furion Multimedia Center. This unit is not only a radio and CD player, but also is Bluetooth capable and a DVD player. And below that, yet further, you have the LED fireplace. Not only does this look really nice, but there's also a space heater that helps take off the chill in this main living space. If we go down to the floor, you will notice the Shaw residential carpeting with a stain guard. That way, if the little ones do spill something, it cleans up nice and easily. And below that, you have a double-sided radiant foil for added insulation in the slide-out itself. You'll also notice this model comes with table and chairs, so that way you have a nicer looking living space rather than the booth, plus the chairs are a lot easier to get in and out of, and it does have an extension in case you want to sit four people at the table. In the back, you have your two swivel rockers. Not only are these extremely comfortable, being the Thomas Paine collection, but they also can swivel around so you can enjoy the view out the beautiful rear picture window. You will notice there is storage all the way across the top with tinted glass doors. You also have brush nickel pulls and they are self-supported hinges for easy one hand operation. Over to the off door side here in the slide out, you will see the tri-fold sofa. Folks, this is not only a comfortable place to sit, but also makes a comfortable bed. And again, you have windows in here helping to bring in natural light as well as storage up above. If we take a look down below, you will see the beautiful sturdy flooring in here. This is the Trek wood plank vinyl flooring. Underneath that, folks, you have a 5 inch, 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood for that extra sturdy flooring to make sure you don't have any sagging when walking across your main living areas. As we take a look at the ceiling, you will notice that the Jayco Eagle has the Helix cooling system for even cooling throughout the entire RV. It also has your Whisper Quiet AC system, which is a 15,000 BTU AC mounted on top of the roof. Making our way into the kitchen here, you will notice your fridge freezer combo. This one is a Norcold unit built here in the US. It does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Next to that is your three burner range cooktop. Beautiful stainless steel on both the top as well as the door itself. The front burner is high output. You have an oven underneath for baking and you also have a knife holder in the back. You also see right above that you have your stainless steel hood with the light and fan and some additional storage. Right here is the majority of your kitchen prep space and you will see it is gorgeous with beautiful solid surface countertops, a decorative backsplash and an accent wall. It really makes the kitchen pop. You also have two electrical outlets and dual USB ports in case you need to plug in any electronics. Set into that countertop, you have the undermount stainless steel sink. This is very functional as well as beautiful with two different sink top covers. You have a cutting board on one side and then the roll away cover on the other. You'll also see the high rise pull out faucet, which is not only beautiful but versatile as it makes it much easier to wash and rinse dishes. Underneath the sink, you will notice you have a large opening, great storage, big enough for a trash can. And over to the side, they have a place in which you can put both your sink top covers and you will see your countertop extension is stored there as well. That extension actually attaches right in the side here. You can see where that goes in. And underneath that, you have a bank of four drawers. These are heavy duty, full extension ball bearing drawer guides that can each support up to 75 pounds. If we take a look up top, 
You notice you have great storage here as well. In the center is your stainless steel microwave, storage on the top and on both sides. Located on the side of the kitchen cabinets is your main control panel. You will notice this is tucked behind a glass door. That way it's not a big eyesore and it is located up high so you don't have to worry about little ones opening and closing your slides in the middle of the night. It also comes with this remote which allows you to control everything remotely as far as your slides, your awning and your exterior lights. You'll also see your rear stabilizers and landing gear are located on here as well. We saw the big beautiful living area that you get, but as I mentioned in the beginning, this one is a bunk model. So right here in midship, you have your two 48 by 60 inch beds. This is perfect for the kids. You can even sleep two kids per bunk if you so choose. Both bunks also have LED lights, windows, and electrical outlets on the wall. Up above, you see you have storage going all the way across. And you have additional storage here on the other side. Right below that, you have some coat hooks, and you will also see a TV that is viewable from both bunks. As we step into the bathroom, you will see the porcelain foot flush lever toilet located here in the corner, providing plenty of legroom, and a porcelain bowl, of course, is much easier to clean. Mounted on the door itself, you see both your toilet paper holder as well as a towel bar, and over to the side, you have your hand towel ring right next to the electrical outlet. Up top, you have a beautiful backlit vanity there. You can see that it is a mirrored medicine cabinet. They kind of put like a portrait around it, really help giving it that extra aesthetic and again, allowing for a light all the way around the mirror. Down below, you will notice you have the decorative backsplash as well as a great, size, great sized countertop, plenty of room to put your toothbrush or anything else you need to up there. And you have additional storage down underneath. Over to this side is your neo-angle shower. You will see that the doors are in a roller track, so that way when you open the doors up, any water that is on the doors will go down into the shower pan instead of all over the floor. You have a hand wand, some shelving in there, a skylight, and a little extra blue light, just giving you a, you know, a nice courtesy light in case you want to keep that on in the middle of the night, and it gives it again that extra aesthetic piece. Over to the side, you will see the slide-out wardrobe that extends into the bedroom, but part of it is dedicated here for the bathroom, giving you a linen closet. In the master bedroom, you'll see the continuation of that slide out, and you will notice that there is a large wardrobe here, so that way you have a place to hang up clothes. Right next to that, you have a window as well as a large drawer underneath for additional storage, and you also have storage on both sides of the bed. You see that you have some storage up top as well as down below. Beautiful nightstands here, and you notice that both nightstands have electrical outlets. One side even has a charging center that has a couple USB ports as well as a 12 volt plug-in. And underneath your nightstand, you can see the drawer here too. Right in between those, of course, is your residential queen size 60 by 80 bed, and you have dual adjustable reading lights. If we take a look up on the ceiling, you will notice the second AC, so that way it will stay nice and cool in here. And then you also see you have a place to mount a TV in case you want to watch a show before bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Jayco Eagle 30.5 MBOK. Starting off on the gorgeous front cap here, you will see that this is a high gloss front cap with LED lights inlaid, really giving it that pop and that look that you want to make friends and family jealous when it's sitting in the campground. Directly underneath, you have the Moride Pin Box. This uses rubber to help take a lot of the bucking and chucking out of the tow experience as you are hauling it down the road. Underneath that, you will notice you have some storage up front here. It does have the tread in the bottom to help give you some additional grip there. And over to the other side, you see you have a compartment for your battery. Down underneath is your spare tire. This is fairly easy to access as off to the side, you have the insertion point for your tool so you can quickly and easily lower down the spare tire. You will notice you have a power awning covering almost the entire length of the RV here. That unit does have an adjustable pitch as well as an LED light. You also see you have frameless windows on this RV. Nine of those look nicer, but you can also have them open while it's raining and it helps protect the seals better as they are tucked behind the glass. 
The side walls are fully laminated. It does go through a vacuum bond process. It is also a high gloss exterior and this unit has an aluminum frame. The impressive part about the lamination process is not only the side walls laminated, but also so are the side walls of the slide and the rear wall, which is quite uncommon even for most fifth wheels. On the camp side, you will see there is one of your three 30 pound propane tanks. The other two are on the other side, giving you a total of 90 pounds of propane. And right outside, you have a spray port in case you need quick water access. You'll see this unit also has pretty good pass through. You'll notice again that that has the grip on it, so anything that is riding in there won't slip and slide all over. You'll also see you have a motion sensored light in here, so that way when you open it up to access it, it turns on. Otherwise, it does turn itself off to help conserve power. And right next to that, you will also see hookups for a TV. So if you want TV outside, that is where you'll plug it into. One of my favorite parts about the outside of the 30.5, however, is this right here, and that is the outside kitchen. You have this blue light, which really makes your kitchen pop. You also see you have the refrigerator there, so you can put some condiments as well as some beverages. You have outlets out here, an electrical outlet and a couple USB ports, so you can plug in multiple devices like cell phones or tablets. And right underneath, you have a pull-out grill. I love the fact that they opted the grill over a cooktop because generally when I'm outside, I tend to use my grill more anyway. And if you notice right on the front, they have the signature Jayco bottle opener, which is again, a very neat aesthetic piece. Right outside the outside kitchen here, you have two exterior speakers. Again, these are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. Over to the side of that, you will see your three foldable aluminum steps with extra grip on there to make sure you don't slip and fall. Aluminum, of course, won't rust. It'll stay looking beautiful for years to come. And you have a blue light underneath helping to light them up, making your unit easier to find at night and more importantly, lighting up your steps so you're not tripping over them. Directly above that, you see the large grab handle here and your extra large door. This is a 30 inch wide by 72 inch friction hinge door which will help ensure you can fit larger items in and hopefully not hit your head on the way in or out. The wheels on the Jayco Eagle are aluminum alloy. So not only are those gorgeous, but they'll continue to look gorgeous for years to come as they will not rust. You also see their nitrogen filled tires and in the middle, you will notice the more ride CRE 3000 suspension system, which in conjunction with the more ride pin box, really makes this a very smooth towing unit. On the back is your rear mounted ladder so you can quickly and easily climb up on the roof. And right in the top center, you will see backup camera prep. That way, if you do want a backup camera, it's easier to have installed, meaning it will save you money on labor. Underneath the bumper, you will also see a rear two inch receiver. So that way, if you have a receiver mounted bike rack, you can easily install it without having to void any warranties. As an option, you can also get the Santacon Turbo Waste System. This essentially is a macerator pump, which helps grind everything up and helps make the black tank a little bit cleaner as it actually forces it out. On the off door side here, you will see your docking center containing your outside shower with both hot and cold water access, your satellite and cable inlets, black tank flush, as well as your water fill. You can flip the switch if you want to fill up your fresh tanks or if you have pressurized city water. Directly underneath is your detachable 50 amp power cord. And then right up front here are your two other 30 pound tanks with your switch over in the center. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco Eagle 30.5 MBOK. If you're interested in this beautiful fifth wheel and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.